Hey everybody, Rachel here from RatesTheStamper.com and I wanted to show you how I made these really, really cute and simple note cards. I actually got this idea um, from Pinterest. It was someone who actually made magnets that were in this shape, so it didn't have the square, it just had the, the Mickey head with the porthole. Um, they didn't have the anchor, I just did that one myself. They had another one that was really cute with a buoy, but it was a lot of work, and I said, forget it. I didn't have enough patience for that. And then they had one that had um, a little ship wheel, which I thought was really easy, because we do have this really cool um, anchor and ship wheel in the sailing home dies. So I'm going to show you how to make that. I want to show you a couple things, though. So a few things that I'm using are retired. The gingerbread punch guy, I did use that for the, um, the mini bows. So a lot of times we'll keep our punches because they're really versatile to be able to make stuff with punch art. So I saved that. And then a couple other things I used I wanted to share with you. I used for the larger heads, I used the one and three quarter inch circle punch, which I believe is retired. So this one would be with that. And then I used the same size ears no matter what. I did the one inch punch for the ears. So this is one and three quarters for the body or for the head and one inch for the ears. And then if you wanted to make a smaller one, what I did was I used the one and three eighth inch punch for the head, but I still used the one inch punch for the ears. So just to kind of give you a little heads up. And then I'm going to show you one other thing I did when I made the clouds. This was from um, a punch pack that I believe went together. It's definitely retired, but it's like a little blossom. So what I did was I just did half of it and kind of the way it ends up working out, it kind of looks like a Toy Story cloud, believe it or not. So I thought that was really cute. So that's what I did. I just wanted to share those with you. And I'll show you a few things that I did. Uh, one other thing I did to save time, and I'm 99% sure we have these, but I cannot find them. So we have these really great um, three by three envelopes. And they are right here. They're in Whisper White. And I am like fairly certain we have a note card that goes with it. So these would be like two and maybe these are three. These are three inches. I apologize. These are three inch square. They'll end up being three inch square. And this one is three and one eighth inch the um, envelope. That's not the envelope though. That's another note card. Come on, Blondie. There we go. These are the envelopes. So if for some reason we don't have these, the other thing you could do is you could just cut um, three by six inch and score in the middle at three. So you could have three inch by six, score at three, and you could make your own note card. But if you do have these, uh, I'm very ashamed to admit <laughs> these note cards, and I'm truly not joking. I have had these for probably 15 years, and I just use them because I've always wanted to use them, but never had a use for them. So I thought, well, I'll just get them out while I have them. But I know we did have that uh, whole combination a while back. Two other things I wanted to go over with you is the paper that I used. These are from the old DSP stacks that we had. They were in 12 by 12. So I came up with a couple alternatives just in case. So you can see I have red, yellow, and pink. So we do have in the, oops, I got the wrong one out. This is the Magnolia. I want to get out the Bird Ballad. And... That one has a really sweet, thankfully it was open right to it, polka dot. So you could use this as your background. Now what I did was I cut these at two and three quarter inch square. So you could use this one for the mini cards if you wanted to. And then for the Mickey cards, am I doing here? I am just having a ball. I just had that darn paper out. Oh goodness. Well, I'll show it to you at the end because I don't want to make this any longer than it needs to be. But the set sail um, designer series paper has a nice stripe one that you could use that actually would be really nautical for the um, mini. It kind of, or the Mickey, I should say, it would be like a navy blue for the wave. So if you wanted to go with the traditional red and yellow for Mickey, you could also just cut out a piece of real red and back it with that. Or you could cut out a piece of, I kind of think that the crushed curry and the Daffodil Delight are the best yellows. You could certainly use a different one if you wanted to, but Mickey tends to be red, yellow, and black, and Minnie is usually like pink, a dark pink, and black. So that's kind of what I went with. All right, so let me show you what I did. And some of the stuff I have, I kind of did it like all assembly line. And then a couple of them were um, kind of easier just to go through as I went. So what I did was I punched out the anchors and the ship wheels out of crumb cake. I punched out the porthole and I'm gonna explain this one out of smoky slate. So I'm gonna keep just this one piece out so I can show you. Then I have um, a little piece of pool party 
You could use, this is a piece that I just happened to grab. This, I don't even really know what color this is, to be 100% honest with you. But you could use either um, Pacific Point for the water part. You want something that's a little bit darker. Seaside Spray isn't quite dark enough. You could also go with Blueberry Bushel. And then I have a little scrap of red that was just for the bow. So let me show you what I did. So basically, I have my cards here, and I have a few of these kind of already set out. So this, again, is the one and three quarter inch head. So I have a head and two ears. We'll make one of these a mini. So this is a punch here. Now what I did with, this was super easy, with the gingerbread punches, I just have a scrap piece of paper. And all you have to do is this works out super duper well. You just slide it right in. And then the only thing you're punching out is this, so you're not getting a ton of scraps. So that worked out really well. And then I have another one. This is the one and three eighth inch. And then again, I have two one inch heads. This is another one. This one kind of goes best. The um, smaller punch, so the one and three eighth inch punch kind of fits nicer with the ship's wheel. I think just the way it lays out, it's, it fits nicer with that. So I did that one together. And then I'm going to do one more of the, um, the porthole card. So for the porthole card, you can kind of do, you can see I have them two different ways. So this one has a little bit of a ledge around. Or I know there's one. And then this one is a full window. So it kind of depends on which one you want to do. So what we'll do is we'll do one with the full window just so you can see. So I have one here. This is two. And if you do it with the full window, you don't really even need the back because this can be the back. So again, I'm going to do this in Smoky Slate. This is one and three quarter. So I have that. And then I have my one inch. This will be for the sky. Is that right? Nope, that's wrong. Hold on. I did the one and three eighths for the sky. I'm watching now this piece. It's just barely big enough. Sorry about that. So one and three eighths will be the sky because you do want it to be big enough. Sorry. You want it to be big enough that it gives a uh, ledge around. And then the other thing I did was I just took the um, one and three eighths punch again. And I kind of did a half circle. Not quite half. Almost half. Because if you do half, it kind of does a lot of water. So there's the water portion. And then I took my little, and do I even have a piece of scrap here for white? I have to have something. Let's see. So this is just that little um, blossom punch I was telling you about. Sorry, I realize I'm not in the screen. And what I did was I put it about halfway. So that would be halfway. And it just depends on if you do the bigger one or not. If you have the smaller size head, I would go a little bit less. If you have the bigger size head, I'd go halfway. And then you have like a little half cloud. So I'll just show you that again. So there's a little half cloud. And that one doesn't look as good as the one I did before. I'm going to do one more. There we go. So it's about a, a little half cloud there that we're going to put on. So there's that one. And then let me see. We have two ears for that. And I think that's it because the rest of this is all little PC pieces that I had left. So I'm going to move these out of the way. So that's all the punching. So again, if you have this, it'll make a great, makes great bows. And again, I know a lot of these punches are retired, but I also know a lot of people keep punches because they're so easy to use. So I do have my silicone craft mat out just in case. And I also did stick with the um, Tombow liquid glue because I kind of thought that it worked out the best over everything else that I found. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue, and I mean just a little because you don't want it gushing all over the place. So I just put a little bit of glue around the edge and just a teeny bit in the center. And put this on so it was centered, just like so. If you get any little glue seepage, you can kind of just wipe it off. So there's that. There's a hair stuck in there. And then I'm going to take and just put a little slash, that's a little much, a little slash of glue here for the ears. And I kind of lined these up the way I wanted them. This little wheel is falling off. And I kind of kept it so the center was open. So I'm going to go with that. And the cool part about the liquid glue is if you don't exactly like, oops, how you have it lined up, 
you can see you can move it a little bit. So that works out, I think, well. So there's that. There's one. Okay. And then for this one, this is even easier. You're going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom. Put your half circle on. So you can see that your half circle's on. A teeny, teeny, teeny little bit of glue. For the, um, if you ha don't have these reverse angle tweezers, 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 Jesus, is they're amazing. So I kind of lay that down. Let the glue pick it up, and then I straightened it out. <clears throat> straightened it out. There you go. All right, so there's that. You could also add a little bird to it if you wanted to, but you don't have to. And I just put a little bit of glue in the middle. Now this part is the important part because you want to have a porthole that's pretty even. So just make sure you take the time to make sure that it looks kind of like aesthetically even. And then I'm going to put my two little slashes of glue again. Like I said, it does not need to be a lot. And I'll put these behind. Just like so. So there's that. So there's two. And then for the last one, what do I have left? I have an anchor. We'll do the anchor. Now this anchor, you can also stamp it. I did not bring my stamp upstairs after I cleaned it, but it does have this coordinating stamp. So if you stamp it on top, it'll give it a little bit more depth. You could do it. I did most of them stamped. A couple of them I did unstamped just because I forgot. Um, you can also do the wheel and then you could put minis bow up top here. So it just kind of depends, but I think I like it better um, with the wheel if you had the smaller one. So I'm gonna do the anchor. I'm just going to add, same thing again, just a very small amount of glue. Make sure you get the top just in case. You can also, if you are, um, have like a wet towel, you could kind of mush it with your finger a little bit to spread it around. But I don't have anything up here with me that's wet enough that I'm not going to feel like I'm going to stick to everything else. So then... And you know what I should have done because I totally forgot. I'm going to put a little teeny bit of glue because I wanted to do a mini. Just a teeny bit of glue here. And I'm going to stick this underneath. See if I can still slide this down just a little bit. There's my, my twizzers, as I called them. Maybe I thought I was talking about twizzlers. That seems more sensible with me, honestly. All right, so there's that. And then same thing again, just put a little two slashes of glue like that. Kind of line them up. The cool part is if you do like all the punching ahead of time, then you don't have to worry about like punching and doing. So what I did was I punched everything. I knew how many I wanted to make. Whoops, I made 20. Actually, this ends up being like 23. So I made 20 and I punched all the big ones and I just made sure I had enough ears for everybody. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put the rest of this together. So I have, should have right here, three note cards. So I have one, two, three. So I'm gonna do um, one red, one yellow, and one pink. All right, so all I did for this is and you can see so if you can find this paper you know what it is it's one that has all the writing on the back of it so I put my layer down just kind of made sure that was nice and straight nice part about the glue is you can wiggle it a little bit if you get it messed up there's one There's two, and now that I think about it, I don't know if this is actually real red or not. I think I might have picked the, this might be Melon Mambo, but it's close enough. This is probably, uh, what is that pink we just lost? Blushing Bride, no, we still blush, Pink Pirouette, I bet this one is, Pink Pirouette. There's that. So this one will be clearly for the mini card. So we'll do that one first. Now, another thing you could do is you could pop this up on dimensionals if you wanted to. What I did to make it simpler was I put a little, oh, you scared me, buddy. I put a little glue in the center instead of actually putting it on the back of here. That way I could kind of adjust it. So there's one. 
Okay. And just give that a moment to set. So same with this one. I'll just put a little bit of glue. And I'm going to do this one first because I want to do something with the porthole card before I put it on. And I want to show you. So there's the second one. I'm not sure what I'm put on the inside yet. I, I kind of wish we had a stamp that said, have a magical day, journey, adventure, something. I know that's probably uh, copyrighted, but okay. So this pen, if you guys have never seen me use this before, I love this pen. I love it because you can write on envelopes and it will never, ever, ever come off. But you got to remember, it will never, ever, ever come off. So you want to make sure you use, use it to do things correctly. But what I did was I decided instead of punching a bunch of holes, I was going to just draw the portholes on. So I did was I started at 12 and six, three and nine. And I made sure they were pretty uniform and then I just filled in. So one in between, one in between, one in between. You could certainly punch out holes, but like all those little pieces that are on the uh, punches, those are the pieces that I never, ever, 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 ever use. So quite simple. So then I'm just going to add this to my last note card. Like that. And there you go. So you do want to make sure that you add them correctly so your note cards open the right way. Luckily, I think I did them all right. Yes, thank goodness, because that would have been... <laughs> That would have been my luck, number one. But then if you have little extra pieces, you could always add them to the inside if you'd like or maybe save it for another time. So again, I hope I've helped you with a little bit of something to do with some of the punches that you may or may not have had. One other thing I wanted to do that I forgot is I have some little, and this is my white gel pen. What I did was I kind of just added some polka dots onto Minnie's bow. There you go. So just like that. You can also use your pen to add like a little bit of detail if you wanted to, if you decide not to stamp this. Just like that. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just like some wood lines. And I did the same with the ship anchor just to kind of add a little something to it. A little shading or something. But these are all super easy to make. Lots of fun. Depends if you like them with or without the anchor with the stamping. You could do that as well. You can see I'm going to hopefully make some people very happy by sharing this. This one is one I made a whoopsie, so I made it into a seagull. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I did put all of the um, measurements for everything that I used on the blog post and I also put some links into some other stuff for you to be able to use in case you may or may not have some of this stuff available. You could obviously always change up the size of the heads and the ears which would be very very simple but if you have like a little alternative maybe you have some of this paper which I'm sure almost everybody has some of this still left but if not there's a couple alternatives of the DSP that I added on there that you guys could add at any time. That way you'd be able to use it and make your own cards. So I would love to hear your comments on this. And make sure if you haven't that you head over to my Facebook page and leave a comment on the original post when I added these pictures. If you leave a comment as to where you think I'm going, I'm going to draw one random winner. It doesn't matter if you make the correct guess or not. And I'm going to send them out a really cool prize. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.